Hey guys, Rafael here from the Progressive Bonsai Collective. Today I'm here with another member of the collective. Nice to meet you. First time in camera. And uh, we're super excited to go see the annual exhibition of the Société de Bonsai Epingine du Québec, SBPQ. So come along with us and if you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you for your support.
we will discuss a few trees that we find particularly interesting. First, uh, among them, this tuya, occidentalis, eastern white cedar, with the completely empty trunk you can see through. And this is a local species, very beautiful ramification. You can see uh, on all the pads, it's possible to create a tree with ramification and and density with a tuya as much as any other tree from Japan. This is a tree that is thought to be 30 years old. I don't know for how long it's been on training. It was created by Vianney Leduc. And to me, this is the most beautiful tree in the exhibition today. So well done to Vianney and and this is a fantastic tree. I really like the angular movement in this branch. Um, well, if there's any way to zoom in, you can see that the branches are wired up to the very tip, uh, which is something that you don't necessarily see with Tuya a lot. Yeah. And shows good a level technique, of care. Right? Yeah, very, very good. Even the green, uh, the still green. Uh, here behind my finger, the still green foliage from this year, it's wired in place. And some people might think that the, the pads are too, uh, not dense enough compared to a juniper, which, well, yeah. I guess is right, but I it, like it's, it's not the nature of a tuya. A tuya is very airy. I like long. this airy nature for all bonsai. They have long branches uh, with foliage that uh, floats around in the wind. It's really, it's no point trying to make Unless you're trying to make a hedge, there's no point trying to make a very dense pad. Yeah. yeah. Species. Well, you can use the hedge pruning technique probably on Tuya as it is used for hedges. And then at the end of the year or just before growth, next year you prune away what you don't need. And, and, and that gives you a lot, of, a lot of possibilities for design. The last tree that I feel uh, discussing is uh, this tree here, which is um, Fomina Juniper by Pierre Le Loup. And there are a number of interesting aspects to this, not just the tree, but the display itself. First of all, as you can see, as opposed to the traditional stand, here we have the tree being displayed more as in a museum, any art piece would be displayed, where nothing is trying to take away the attention from the masterpiece, which is this tree here, which, if you have not noticed, it's actually a tanuki, or a phoenix graph, a much better word for that, um, which is when you use uh, dead wood as part of the composition just as much as you would use a rock or anything else. No one is trying to to fool the viewer, uh, although I'm not sure if this is particularly mentioned here, but uh, just like you can graft roots or foliage and use rocks or figurines and use a pot, why not simply use dead wood as part of your artistic composition? So this is a fantastic example of tanuki. It's been in training for over 15 years, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see how the live vein is fully integrated with the dead wood. There is this piece here where you can see the channel where the original live vein was placed on but eventually detached. However, this is something that you see in trees that are not um, phoenix graft, grafts and even on trees that it's done on purpose to be able to bend the branches. And so this is as natural as it can be for me.